Welcome, guys, to another exciting episode of HL Wow. This is Kev Man here, and we're going to be playing some League today again. And I'm going to be playing one of my main champions, which is Rangar. So he's super, super fun champion. I love this guy. Uh, have Mastery 7, which I should probably. I know in the video. There it is. Right there, that young Mastery 7. So. Rangar actually got changed in this season with the Assassin update, and I've had to actually adapt how to play him. He's... I honestly... My opinions on him is I kind of actually like the old Rangar better. Um, you know, it was much simpler to play him. You know, you didn't have to... Uh, like, the, the Q wasn't actually like a AoE weird... Thing, it was just an auto attack empowered reset so um, but the new Rangar actually in most cases I would actually say is is better than the old Rangar because now you have your empowered W actually is a QSS basically which did that is it's busted basically it's broken like that is as an assassin should not be able to have a QSS ability um, then we have the Empowered Q, which is basically just, you know, you can use two Qs instead of one Q. And then you have the Empowered E, which is a root, the same exact thing as the previous time. But now, your stacks actually decrease uh, as time goes on. So, if, if you notice, I actually used Quick Cast uh, only with... Rangar, and uh, I think a uh, few other champions like Vigar or something, but I really don't play Vigar that much, so. Um, so we're going to start out at red, and then we are going to go to Wraith, which these things just wreck face. Um, so I kind of have to kite them, then use my AoE Q, uh, get some health back with Empowered W, and then we're going to go to Grom. Um, this is the path I like to take the most. Uh, because what happens is when you go to Grump, you hit level three, and then you can do the—I don't know what it's called, the Scuffle Crab—and that way you'll get health back. And then by that time, your Smite will be up for your blue, so then you can do that, and then you can do your Wolves, and then you just go back and base. So another thing, if you noticed, is I don't really use the Empowered W uh, for health back most of the time, and. Uh, I use the Empowered Q because you just clear faster. So I recommend you just use the uh, Empowered Q uh, when you're level 3. Only though when you're level 3. Now right there I use Empowered E because Aru is CC and Scuttlecrad dies easier when it's CC'd. So. Only reason why I use Empowered E there. So now we're just going to be doing the blue. Smite's almost up. Q. Uh, w, Q, oh, I used W there, huh, okay, well, I shouldn't have used W there, I should have used Empowered Q, um, then going for two wolves, and then we're probably going to back, and off this, we're going to hit level four. So basically, we, we have, uh, an Ezreal jungle on the enemy team, and that is very strange, and it's kind of like the perfect game to play Rengar. Alright, so we're going to be doing Skiller Crab again right here. I basically just based, farmed a little bit uh, till 6, and that's about it. Uh, Rangar's ganks pre-6 are kind of trash, so you just kind of want to power farm. So here I come, going go to gonna go to Swain, and um, I just pushed a, vis vis bleh, a vision ward right there. Use my words, Kevin. And so no, there's no wards. Smite him, so we get vision. Easy kill right there. And then we get a stack because I'm Rangar. So now we probably don't want to gank uh, Swain too much anymore. So now we're gonna uh, we're gonna I'm looking at mid because I saw a counter gank up team. So I'm gonna ult, go on Jace instantly. He pops barrier, uh, flash snare, and then easy cleanup because Ezreal will die if uh, he gets near me. So that was pretty a really good counter gank by me. So and that's one of the main things that you want to do with Rengar too. So I'm going in, I see Jace over, over extended, he, he sees me, but I am just too fed, so I literally just, just dive him. He flashes, he uses barrier, he's dead, you know. And over here, I overstay, shouldn't have done it, flash, and then I just die for it. Um, rookie mistake, basically. 
So I see Ezreal. So I instantly don't... Uh, one of the best things with Rengar is just do not panic and just do it. Like, there's not... Just go for it. Like, you know, no no fear. So... Um, if, if you play like that, then we get the flash from Mal's because he would have died if he didn't. Uh, if, if you hesitate when playing Rengar, it's not that. You don't want to do that. So we get a big fight right here. Mal's uses all on Zig. So I know it's okay to just go in. And... Right here, we're just trying to clean him up. Good clean up by Vayne. I snare Jace. And then Vayne just basically gets a free double and we get the tower. So definitely worth it. And then I'm going to just push this way. And then basically, I just sit in this push right here and I just pick out Ezreal. And then I go on the Varus. Look at that jump range. That, yeah, that, that's balanced. And then instantly kill him. Then I try to I, I try to go for the uh, I'm a little greedy here. I try to go for the um, Malzahar, and I try to flash the the the, the bushes, but uh, it didn't work out. So right here, uh, just soloing dragon basically. Nothing too special. Um, I see Varus. So I'm gonna ult, I was going to ult, but then as soon as I was, I saw Varus, I saw Malzahar, and I was like, oh, well, no, because he can just hit R and wreck me. So I'm thinking there's gonna be a fight coming on pretty soon, but apparently not. So I just go ahead and do Scuttle. Uh, that's one of the best things you can do if you're just waiting around, just farm. And then the fight starts. So then I ult in, I Yomus, and then I'm like, you know, I'm gonna just kill Varus and just insta-kill him. And then just run out because I have QSS. It's like, that's not. Yeah. And then even Vayne's like 80 carry 2017. Like, it's not fair. Like, that was, you know, there wasn't anything the virus could have really done. Uh, I could have, I could have chose Ezreal instead of the virus, but I just wanted to kill the virus. So, here's one thing that you never want to do versus a Rangar or any kind of assassin is overextend like that and be like, yeah, I can get this Ziggs, but then you don't, and then the assassin comes in and just insta-kills you, so I just want to highlight that. So right here, since we got a couple kills or whatever, we're actually going to be just focusing down this tower, and Ziggs is a monster taking down towers, so we easily get that. Good ult by Varus. Um, I try to get Varus, but it just wasn't the card. QSS out, and then just go back in, flash, Q, the mechanics. That was such a butt punch though. That bar scared that was going to hit me and I was going to die. But now we're ulting, and I'm just seeing if I can pick pick off anyone. So I see the bars, and I'm like, mm, that's a juicy target right there. So he goes by the tower, and I'm like, no, 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 no you're dead. I'm killing you. So I couldn't burst him down with the saddening, but I'm still going to kill him. And if, if I just ran away, I would have died because the uh, Malzahar was coming up, so. Alton again, and I was thinking, hmm, we're just going to kill this Ezreal. And uh, I didn't actually manage to kill him, but the, the karma just comes in for the cleanup. And then I, I was thinking, should I die Swain or not because he has the ult for healing? And so I'm like, uh, maybe I'll just do a little damage to him. And I almost, I basically half shot him with one combo. So we're basically just waiting for the tower now. Uh, I probably should have died to Swain to be honest, but I didn't think I would actually have that much damage. And this build I actually like the most. Uh, going uh, Warrior Enchantment, then Yomus for the movement speed, Hydra, then IE. It's just so good. Like You just want to kind of build AD, uh, pull AD now on him. Because you insta crit whoever you uh, alt, whoever is like on your tracks or whatever it's called. Like you're like marked basically, like kindred when you alt. Like you see like Swain right there. So there's like the little mark. I would insta crit him, but uh, I actually go for the Ezreal, and I just keep getting Malzahar ulted basically, which you know that's what he's supposed to do. But my team is basically Rex face. But the tower kind of destroys them, and we don't have our tank, so it was basically even trade. 
so we're getting the fire dragon right here. Good smite by me. I ult in, and I'm like, okay, can I go in? I know there's a Malzahar ult, and then I get too close, and then I get ulted and insta-kill. <laughs> Don't do that. So, another rookie mistake, but I was just greedy. So we have, we, we're trying, at least what my team is, is they use so much crap on me. So if they decide to fight us, they will lose. So Vayne just goes in and kills someone instantly. And basically, I'm sad in that I didn't get to really do anything. But since they used so much on me, it, the game's over. Because if they did decide to fight, which they had to under their towers, uh, we would, uh, they would lose. So they had to fight, and considering they used too much on me, uh, we just basically easily cleaned them up. So that uh, pretty much concludes today's episode, guys. With me basically one-shotting people and tilting Varus. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the content. And make sure to leave a comment below or a like. And I hope you guys like the content. And this is going to be KevMan2 signing off. Hopefully we can get some more Rengar videos because I love this champion.